I've just about had enough of this. I only said good morning. Mice. We've got mice now. Oh, no. How do you know? <laughs> I haven't been nibbling away in the spare bedroom, have I? We've got all our veg up there. I know. And what's more, the mice know. That's all we needed, isn't it? A mob of greedy rodents taking the food out of our mouths. Never mind. Well. Never mind. <laughs> Happy birthday. That's another thing. <laughs> I'm older. <laughs> Thanks, love. There's more. Happy anniversary. <laughs> anniversary of what? Of all this. The founding of our empire. Don't you remember, it was two years ago, on your birthday, you woke me up in the middle of the night with this crazy idea about trying to become self-sufficient. So it was. You shouldn't have listened to me, should you? Yes. <laughs> Empire. Margot's quite right. It's decaying all over the place. You are a fine birthday boy. <coughs> well, look at us. I mean, it's not the mice. It's the only oil-slicking surbiton. <laughs> it is not that. It's a dried-up goat, and the soul's coming off your shoe. I mended it. Two years. I mean, what happened to all our plans? Do you want a cake in your face? Well... I'll tell you what happened to all our plans. We carried most of them out and made most of them work. We feed ourselves, we keep ourselves warm, we're not at anybody's beck and call. And what's more, Tom, we have almost learned to do without money. Only because we haven't got any. <laughs> we didn't go into it to make a fortune, did we? We knew that from the start. We just went in to see what it was like being alive. I know, but when I think of you sometimes... I... Look, you'll get one of these in each ear in a minute. <laughs> I'll tell you something, Tom Good. These have been the happiest two years of my life. Really? Truly. That's my doing, isn't it? That's better. That's more like my big head. <laughs> Kate? Yeah. You know, I've got a better idea. Jerry and Margot need cheering up, right? We'll ask them over here this evening and have cakes and champagne. Lovely. Where are we going to get the champagne? Jerry's bringing it. It's my birthday present. <laughs> How do you know that Jerry's getting you champagne for your birthday? I told him to. <laughs> Jerry, which do you prefer? Wanton or irresponsible? A oh, wanton, I think. <laughs> yes. Wanton behaviour. Yes. Oh, you're writing to Miss Mountshaft? Yeah. It's to the Times, actually. What are you writing to the Times about? You. <laughs> Listen. Sir, is it any wonder that British industry is the lame dog of Europe when so-called managing directors are incapable of making rational decisions? How can Great Britain become great again? when such wanton behaviour and crass stupidity as... Then I'm going on to say how Andrew didn't give you his job. <laughs> it's libel. The truth is never libelous. You are worth ten of Snetterton. I'll say, darling, I do appreciate the way you're backing me up in this. I'm your wife, Jerry. <laughs> is hobbledehoy hyphenated? <laughs> <laughs> Twice, probably. Margot. Yes? What would you say if I were to resign? Are you thinking of resigning? It has crossed my mind. I don't really like Snetterton. In fact, I loathe him. It would stick in my craw to have to call him Sir. I could call him Kerr. <laughs> I don't usually like puns, Jerry, but that is brilliant. A very big step, of course. Might have to lower our sights a bit. Jerry, if it meant retaining our self-respect, I would be willing to start all over again. Even if it meant moving to Epsom. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I'll go. Uh, 
Riff raff. Yes, that's good. Hey, you, sir, come on in. It's Andrew, darling. Evening, Margot. Good evening. Well, I suppose I'm a bit of a surprise packet, aren't I? That's one way of putting it. <laughs> you better sit down. I'll get you a drink. Oh, that's very civil of you, Jerry. Yes, civility is a quality that Jerry has never lacked. <laughs> well, I had a very pleasant dinner with Snetterton last night. Did you really? Yes, very pleasant. Mostly business, of course. Talk quite a lot about you, Jerry. Yes, I imagine you would have done. Thank you. Do you want to know what I said? Well, you're obviously going to tell me, but if you think I'm going to jump through hoops to hurry you up, you're very much mistaken. Bravo, Jerry. <laughs> Hello, Margot. Sorry to barge in, but we thought we'd... Oh. Uh, sorry, you're busy. We'll come back later. No, no, no. Dear Tom and Barbara, come in. We're never too busy to entertain real friends. <laughs> Sit down. I'll get you some good brandy. <laughs> Come round and have a bit of a gloat, have you? Oh, never mince words, eh? I don't have to make it. Neither do I. You're crackers. Oh, and the little woman, too. Don't you patronise me. Well, old Andy doesn't seem to be the flavour of the month, does he? Not unless this month's flavour is yuck. It's <laughs> all over now, Tom. No, you carry on, Tom. I was going to. I'll tell you one thing. Choosing Snetterton was the biggest clangor you've ever dropped, and you've dropped some. I didn't. You did. What about serving roast sucking pig to that trade delegation from Israel? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't choose Snetterton. Then why did you take him to dinner, sir? <laughs> well, old softy, I suppose. Well, if you're going to tell a chap he's lost, you might as well soften the blow with a decent meal. Then... Yes, Jerry. You are JJM's new managing director. Oh, yes, <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Andrew. You assume the crown is to the manor born, Jerry. Next stop, the palace. My noble leech. Quite. Please. <laughs> Would it be indiscreet, Andrew, to ask you what it was that finally swayed your decision? Not at all. No, it's that format that you gave me a couple of weeks ago. Fine piece of work, that. I like the fact that you did it in your own time as well. And you didn't use company paper. <laughs> I, uh, sorry I was a bit snappy, Andy. Yes, Tom, you really must think before you speak. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, call it a fault if you like. Actually, I find acrimony quite entertaining. Well, what are you going to do now you've retired? Take up all in wrestling? No. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And this is going to come as a shock to all of you. But I'm going to follow the example of two young people that I hold in the very highest esteem. Who? You two. <laughs> Us? <laughs> I've always said that you were one of the wittiest men in London. <laughs> that is priceless. I'm quite serious. Now I'm casting the mask aside now. This is the real me talking. I am going to try the old hand at self-sufficiency. I was right. You are crackers. Are you two crackers? Well, yes, but we admit it. <laughs> this appointment of mine... Uh, it is official, isn't it? I mean, it has been confirmed. Yes, of course. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that the old war horse has pulled a hamstring in his last charge. No, no. I mean, deadly earnest. But, Andrew, it'll have the effect of burning your social credentials. Well, did Tim and Fatima worry about that? Well, no, but we hadn't very many to start with. No, no. No, I've got to realise there's a lot of you two in me. Yes, after all these... These years in commerce, it's so, so... Grubby. Basic. <laughs> the soil, the air, reproduction. I'm not going to insulate myself from reality anymore. I'm going to touch it every day. That's where I'm going. Up there, a free spirit at last. Burger <laughs> <laughs> alarm. Oh. 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 Can I chance for the good brandy now? <laughs> oh, was I? You were ringing the bells of freedom, Andy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That very aptly put, Tim. 